Dear Chairman of the Acceptance Committee, we are reporting. This is the main crew of the ISS expedition. We are ready to perform the sim. fun to fly different airplanes and in this case I get to fly a different spacecraft. Um, one of the things that sticks out as a difference between the Soyuz and the space shuttle is how the rendezvous and docking happen. The, uh, the Soyuz docks much faster so the orbital effects of gravity aren't you don't notice it as much so that's just one of the many differences that I've noticed between the shuttle and the Soyuz. In terms of experiments, which are new and which are old, there will be new experiments that are medical and, and biological. There will be five to seven new ones and about 50 that will be continued from before. We will be using equipment that is already on station and also new equipment that will, we will bring along with us. It would take a long time to list all of the experiments. Are there any more questions? What language will be used? On the Soyuz, we will be using Russian. On the ISS, the partners will be using English. But generally, we speak in a Russian language combination. We can start a, a phrase in Russian, end it in English. It also depends on what the topic is, whether it's technical or more conversational. We don't have any misunderstandings. We understand each other unless, of course, we start speaking Italian. Well, we can manage in Italian also. Have you learned to trust each other? Yes, two years of joint training, of living together, all of that has allowed us to get to know us, to know each other very well. We trust each other fully. There is no doubt in that. Samantha Christopher Reddy for both NASA and ESA. How are you feeling about your flight and the Soyuz as an experienced pilot yourself? And what are you looking forward to the most? in both English and Italian, please. Uh, for me, it's just amazing to be here for now at the end of a very long training flow. I mean, I, I came to Star City to start studying the Soyuz in June 2011 for the first time. It's been over three and a half years. And to be here on the last day of training, where on the day where we can actually show everything that we've learned and that we are ready to go and fly, it's just an amazing feeling. And then, of course, I just look forward to sitting in the real thing in just three weeks' time and actually blast off to space. 
è incredibile pensare di essere all'ultimo giorno di, di preparazione di addestramento. Sono venuta per la prima volta qui alla Città delle Stelle nel giugno 2011 per iniziare a studiare la Soyuz, quindi sono passati quasi tre anni e mezzo e oggi è l'ultimo giorno, il giorno in cui come equipaggio dimostriamo, dimostreremo, sono sicura di essere pronti a partire e quindi davvero una, una giornata di, di, di grande emozione, di concentrazione, di lavoro ma anche di grande emozione e poi naturalmente non vedo l'ora di, di sedermi nella, nella vera Soyuz in cima ad un razzo e partire per lo spazio in soltanto tre settimane. Astronaut Dan Burbank, director of Russian operations for NASA at Star City, Russia. You yourself an astronaut who's flown not only on board the space shuttle, but on a Soyuz yourself uh, just three years ago. Uh, the crew is taking their final exams in the Soyuz vehicle behind you. Can, I, can you talk about the kind of challenges that they're facing today and what kind of emergency, emergency scenarios that they might be going through as part of their test? Okay. So this is uh, the culmination of, of two years of training, and the crews worked very hard. They've had a lot of classroom instruction. They've had a lot of simulators, uh, typically initially focused on specific systems and gradually working up to representative missions just like they would. This one, you know, today, for example, will include a launch. It'll include insertion into orbit. It'll include a rendezvous with space station about midday. There'll be a break for lunch. The crew will come back in the afternoon, and they'll simulate the undocking and the return to Earth from there. Um, and the entire day is pretty full. There'll be a series of probably five to six or seven different malfunctions, uh, some of which are, are pretty challenging. There'll be a couple of major cases in there, and uh, things like fire, thing like, things like a, uh, a deep press that, and, and so forth, things that may force them to download the entry to a more, uh, more off-nominal one, for example, to safely return, for example, in a ballistic entry. Can't really speculate on the specific cases they'll have. The way it works is they show up in the morning, they are greeted by the commission. Uh, typically, the commander will then, you know, salute, and, as Anton did earlier today, and uh, in front of them on a table will be set a bunch of envelopes, and inside the envelopes will be um, the billet or the, the, uh, the card that will have all the different malfunctions. And so they'll, they'll pick one of those randomly, and the crew will all sign it and date it, and, uh, and then the SIM team will use the malfunctions that are listed on that card, and they've essentially, you know, selected their fate, so to speak, for this. It's a busy day. It's a really uh, intensive kind of SIM. It is really the final exam for them. The people that are here on the commission, the people that are evaluating them, are not just their instructors, but also the flight controllers and engineers from Energia, flight controllers from the SUP, Mission Control in Moscow. So you've got the best best minds in the uh, in the business over here that are evaluating everything they do. So it's kind of a high pressure thing, but it's very representative of what a real mission would be like, and it kind of replicates in a pretty close manner the kind of pressure you'd feel on the real day. Mr. Chairman of the Acceptance Committee, this is the primary crew. 
of the ISS reporting to you for the Russian segment examination. We are ready. Very good Russian. Thank you. I am included personally in the crew. The main tasks, of course, we know, we have reviewed them. There will be a, a usual day that we will spend on the ISS, starting from waking up until the evening DPC. The only thing that we do not know are the off-nominal situations. There's a very intense program planned. We have over 100 experiments planned. Uh, about 50 of them will be performed by me. Yes, the sim is set up in such a way as to have at least five off-nominal situations. We do not know what they are. We have selected the list of the off-nominal situations. Uh, our instructors and specialists will be putting them in into the simulator over the duration of this day, and we will be acting accordingly to the way we were trained to deal with these situations. Actually, I did not select traditional Italian meals, but the ones that are good for your health. Because I want to live well up on station, I want to maintain my health. And that's why I picked the healthy meals as opposed to the traditional ones like lasagna that other astronauts have picked. But I picked ones that are good for you. TV for Terry yes. Burtz, how are you feeling about your level of preparation as you prepare to take your final exams in the space station Russian segment? We feel really prepared. Uh, this crew is great. It's been over two years of training, and so we've had uh, training in every possible situation, and we're really feeling ready for the work on the station. Uh, dear Chairman of the Acceptance Committee, this is the backup crew of the increment reporting to you.
、えっと、今日の,訓練あの試験なんですけれども、えっと、私たちは、えっと、11月に予定されているあの打ち上げの、えっと、バックアップのクルーとして、えっと、今まで訓練してきましたのでそれの,あの試験になりますですので、えっと、今回は、えっと、ソユーズこちらの、えっと、シミュレーターに乗りまして、えっと、コマンダーとあとはツルさんと、まあ、3人でですね協力しながら、えっと、ソユーズのミッション、えっとまあ、打ち上げから期間まで全てをあの、まあ、通して訓練をしましてその様子をまあ試験をして、えっとまあ、合格すればそのなんですか、ねえっと、バックアップのクルーとして認められるということになります。はいはい。